guys good morning um <laughs> i had planned to live stream today about the some of my favorite mantras but i have to kind of be real i'm in a little bit of an energetic funk and <laughs> i think i did this a few weeks ago but um someone's mad at me and being empathic if you're a person who's empathic um, you feel other people's emotions and that can be quite unsettling at times I have learned to control it a lot and to just kind of check in and see if the emotions are mine or not but when they're not mine but they still are directed towards me sometimes that feels eh, not so good and this month or so, I have been working on, <laughs> working on sounds so serious, experimenting with in the Gold Life Lab. And even before I started the Gold Life Lab, um, keeping, um, owning my power and my leadership skills. And when you start to experiment with something, which is, I tell this to people um, in my classes in the lab, which um, it still has a founder's special. So I will put a link. Um, I'm not really talented at doing that while I'm talking, so I'll do it at the end. Um, but I'll put a link in the comments to that. But when you, when you start to shift your energy around anything, when you stir it up, <laughs> you stir up the shit. <laughs> And that's when, um, you know, like if you're working on owning your power, you're likely going to get challenged um, to see if you're serious. I, I've told this too, and uh, like I talked about making a decision. Once you make that decision, you're going to be tested. You're going to see if, um, hmm, do you really want to do this? And so I know right now, like what's going on in my life and why this person is mad at me has a very direct impact on the fact that my energy is shifting and that their energy is butting up against that. So, yeah. So what do I do? What do you do when you're in that situation? One is you stay firm with your decisions and your experiment or whatever you're playing with in life that you want to shift and change and grow because you, you know, that's just a test. But in the moment when someone's mad at you and it doesn't feel good, the first thing to do is breathe, <laughs> right? Because when you're all balled up and tight and you're stressed and you're in resistance, um, it's hard to go anywhere with that. Your energy is just stuck. So take deep breaths um, and I like to do a practice, I just, I don't know what I call it, I guess just feeling your feelings. And so when a feeling comes up that doesn't feel good, or even one that does feel good, um, but we tend to like do this more with feelings that don't feel good, is just to stop. Because there's always there's like a little story usually with the feeling that doesn't feel good. Although when you're empathic, sometimes it's just, it's more of an energy wave than a story. But the thing is to do is just to sit and even like if you're at work and somebody at work like triggers you, you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> bathroom stalls are a great place to hide and feel energy, believe me, I know. Um, so you just sit, you close your eyes and you feel like the feeling and you know, you can tell yourself this doesn't feel good, but I'm here for you and we're going to feel it. And we're going to shift it and you know don't push yourself to shift it but just feel those sensations in your body like sometimes it's like for me i get a lot in the throat area because i don't want to speak my truth or my heart area my heart chakra sometimes um the uh like sacral area i mean it can go where it goes but those are a lot of times the ones that get hit really with me when big emotional things come up and i just feel it I just feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it until I feel a shift. And then once I feel that shift, I, um, I, d I step into being the person that I choose to be. I step into claiming that energy of, and right now with me, I'm working a lot on leadership and owning my power. So I'm stepping into the me who is already a leader, who already has her power. 
um, to whatever you're working on, you step into that energy of being that person. And I give a lot more detail on how to name that person or that energy um, in the Gold Life Lab. And there is a free class in there called the Three Life Altering Secrets. And that's one of the secrets because um, they're not really secret secrets. <laughs> they're secrets that you create, but um, that I show you how to create. Um, so, yeah, you step into that energy of being who you want to be. And then from that place, there may be something else that you have to do, right? If somebody else is involved, if someone's mad at you or someone is triggering you, you may have to do some communication because I always tell people we have to do the metaphysical action and the physical action. But the physical action is so much easier if you line up your energy first. You're going to get so much better results when you're talking to someone. If you have taken that time to step into your energy, breathe, feel the feelings, and then figure out, hmm, what, what is there to do? What is there to do in this situation? Um, sometimes there's nothing, but a lot of times there might be a conversation that you need to have to somebody. Maybe you need to apologize to somebody. Maybe somebody needs to apologize to you, but you can't make that happen. But it's funny how when your energy shifts, I've had this happen so many times, like, there'll be just a crazy, crazy thing going on because people outside there, they mirror us. Like the energy that we're putting out, they're going to mirror it back to us. So if we're like shifting like me with all oh, my power and then there's this little voice in the back of my head saying, but you're not good enough or, um, you know, da, 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 da. And if I'm still carrying a little bit of that feeling, then someone's going to mirror that to me by treating me in a way that makes me feel that they think I'm not good enough. Um, and that doesn't mean that that's okay. You definitely have your boundaries and you definitely communicate that that behavior is not okay. But guess what? It ain't okay when you do it to yourself either. <laughs> and that's what I have to tell myself. Like if somebody else is bringing that energy to me, I'm probably bringing that energy to myself. And 99% of the time, if I'm honest with myself and I check in and I breathe and I get through what's going on, I can figure that out. I can figure out where I'm treating myself with that same energy that I don't want to be treated with, but I'm treating myself with it. So yeah, therein lies the paradox. I guess it's not a paradox. Paradox is just my favorite word right now. Um, but yeah, it's... It's so easy to blame everything on them, them, them out there, but a lot of times it's us. And a lot of times it's not necessarily a bad thing because when you start doing this work, um, spiritual growth work, you got to do it with a light touch, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes it gets crazy. And that's okay because sometimes it just has to get shaken up to, um, to shift and to change and to be better. And so that's me i'm working on that this morning i'm working on shifting and changing and stepping into the energy of knowing that i am good enough and if i'm getting that message from somebody else that i'm not a i work on knowing for myself that i am and really really believing that and b cleaning up that relationship in whichever way it needs to be cleaned up um you know as i said boundaries, boundaries, boundaries are good. Um, but a lot of times you shift the other one and that second part, the physical action gets so much easier. Oh, my leg is shaking. I think it's a weird way I'm sitting. I was having a hard time because it rained last night to try to find someplace to sit that wasn't wet, that was well enough lit. Um, so if somebody's mad at you or you are mad at someone else, Take a breath, feel those feelings, and consider where um, they might be mirroring you and the reason that they're triggering you or you're triggering them <laughs> is a whole lot deeper than what we see on the surface. Almost every time, right? I mean, because people fight about crazy, silly things. That's not what they're really fighting about. They're just really hashing out their energy, figuring out, um, yeah, they're healing healing stuff but ooh, sorry it's my hand all right guys um so i am headed off to um actually touch base with my gold life lab members and issue some challenges to them so
So if you're one of them, go check that out. Um, it will be coming very, very soon in a few minutes. And I will put the link to the rest of you guys in the comments. Have a magical day. Um, go create something wonderful in your world.